in trouble. It's a contract, you see. It's a contract with the British Navy and the, and, and the military. You've already given them notice. Yeah, I've, I've given them many notices. Yeah. And it, it, she, they think it's a limit on a limitation act that says uh, it'll end after a year or two. Not this way, not, not, not when the king talks. When the king talks, it, it'll go forever. There's nothing to do with them, you see. So I think you know that there's nobody's business in a private sense with this flag. Aye, aye. And uh, no one can inquire into what we say. So we're going to make, if we, if, see what will happen is we'll, we'll in the next week, I'll just give you the, 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 the documents and everything. I'll go and see Hirschfeld. And uh, maybe on Friday I might go because I'll go late in the afternoon when he's finished work and I, I usually do that before. And um, he's, over, he's over North God. So I'll give him a notice. I'll, go, I'll just turn up at his office and just walk in. If he knows what I'm like. And then he'll say, oh, it's, it's, it's closing time now so he can talk and sit down and talk. And so that's always been like that because he knows I've got no money to pay him. So I'll just walk. But the thing is, if he can do this <coughs> with Cook Street, It'll it'll be just him to put the documents together, to to force the issue that we're going. Once I'm in that office in Cook Street, that's it. That'll become our our, our embassy for now. Uh, our, 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 um, Mohi wanted the um, the um, uh, um, parliament, the parliament, yeah, in Cornwall. So that's still there. I've got all the plans for that. I've, I've already got plans for that. But the thing is. Herschel can kick it all into life straight to Britain because he's been to Britain before and um, been doing convention there too as well. So he's in the right place to do it. Yeah, yeah I've been studying your things so they're really yeah. on in, in the UK. Yeah, so that's... All your, all your work you've seen me, I'm going through it. Yeah. So I know what it's all about. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of other information around but um, but it's better just pick a bit at a time, yeah. and I've got all the, all Mohi's stuff is here, the whole lot. Yeah. That's yeah. that's with his fucking and everything. Um, uh, and the whole government, you didn't have to go and reinvent it again. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the main thing is this: <clears throat> the Freemasons are in the World Court. They are running there with King William the Third that put the Bank of England together in the pound note. So that's all in Brussels. We'll be going there. We'll be going there to stand there to, to make partnership, reassert our partnership with the court and King, yeah, with them, yeah, with the Freemasons because they run that business. They're, they're running King William, they're running King William III and King William IV business as, as from Scotland, right? From, from Edinburgh. That's where Prince Philip was the... He's, he's, he's just retired as, as the Commander-in-Chief of, of the Navy and the military. Right? So, so he's been keeping track from that uh, land registry office there. And I'm online now trying to find the records there. But we go there anyway. We go there and check the records. But where you come in is to talk for the Parapara in the Manukau, because I've got all those titles right through the country, from right. from uh, yes. from Mohi, and that's down yeah. Motueka down there as well. The Parapara and the, and the Manukau goes together um, yeah. on those land blocks down there. So so that's who the uh, the British went for that those titles. That's why they, that's why they went for those old names. And um, and where they went into my my family and yours probably down in Tiki Tiki um, yeah, yes. for the birth certificate side. So we've we've got that wrapped up with your your name, the manual, and your name, Mohini, is yes. is old anyway. So we can talk like that. We we can stand there over there and say, well, here right. we're here in the church, and 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 that church title, uh, it it comes up on these documents. On, on the instruments that make money, you see? So all, all I try to do is to fit ourselves uh, back into the education department in that uh, Admiralty building in Trafalgar Square. They've got, a, they've got a wing there that they've just opened up for, for 2017 in September for education purposes of the Admiralty. So we go in there and start talking and say, well, we're here now. And that's, that's we can get there 
at any time. So if I can get the um, money from Sue, uh, then uh, then yes. there's more than enough. There's more than enough to do everything we want, um, apart from other things we can pick up. But if we got Cook Street, we, we could we could go anywhere. We could we could go anywhere because I've already I've, I've already got the inventory of the of that. That's what me and Mohi Manika was trying to do all that time. Yeah, all that time, and every time we went, Tainui whacked us down, and Nāti Whātua whacked, and Nāti Whātua Auraki got on our road. The crown just went straight over the top of us, and 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 it said no, 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 all the way. That's even with Mohi saying, those are my two punas you dug out on, on One Tree Hill, and threw them in the containers out at Ihumato, 800 of them, 800 corpses, they threw them in the container. That was when we were here. And Mohi. Yeah, so that's another one of these things that they do to destroy his 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 whakapapa. Yes, yes. To destroy it and put something else there. And then that's those those mischievous ones from from King King Tuhazia. Uh, because we yeah. had we had a hui on over there for and brought the ones up from um Devo Island and Nelson from Wakatu uh, up uh, up for One Tree Hill for the unveiling with the, the, the Abutoros. And they and I booked them out the, the marae at, at the airport, <coughs> and then my I said to my oh King Hui he wants to come, and he said no, and so they stopped us having the marae right at the last minute, and so and so yeah and so I I had to beg to Manilua marae because there was a funeral on there, a tangi, and they let us have it because that's a Nazi pro marae. And they let, they let us have it, and, and right in the, while, while the funeral was going on. Because there's two parts of it, the other part they, they let us have, and we managed to have our hui there for one to hill before we went up. And they couldn't yeah, stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had the other one underground. Yeah, so, so we managed to get, because those people were already on their way up from, from the South Island. The, the, uh, Kafru, Kafru, um, Ross Kafru, Hona, Hona Kafru, and they came up, and then the ones that came down from Kaipara, this was all around this Auckland title to Britain, and those ones came down from Kaipara, and they, the Retimanas and all those, and they tried to jam us up, and Mohi says, don't listen to them, they, they tried to jam us from going up One Tree Hill, and Mohi says, don't, don't worry, they won't stop here, and so we went straight up, yeah, because they were trying to frighten me to go up. <clears throat> but anyway, that was to stamp the title of this thing that we're going to be getting around and doing. We, there's no reason why we can't take that property because that's just normal business of of a bad title. Yeah. That that uh, twice I went to the land thing to put the Manukau's name on their titles. They're supposed to put it on there, and they failed to put the, where they got it from. And it was not a financial interest; it was an interest in the land. See. And they didn't do it, so that was that. Um, but anyway, we're we're on track, uh, money. Okay. We're on track. I'll, I'll yeah, I will, I will do that probably tomorrow or Saturday. I'll, I'll put something together initially so that you've got something to go. On. And I'll work with you. I'll work with you because you're the you're taking um, um, uh, Mohi's place, uh, and not so much Bundy, uh, but you for the Ratana Church. And for the uh, St. Mary's Church to cover yeah. and, and, and wrap the car or head or the other in in Tiki Tiki in Rangitukia because he, I was just talking to him and just update with him. So we're getting on really fine with that. And, um, and so you can do the legal side of the notarizing, all that sort of thing. And I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get the right documents and, and uh, uh, put it together. I'll just leave Bundy and uh, Kingy to carry on with other matters, but this birth certificate title, they can handle the flag side, but the birth certificate and the yeah. Moriori title, to Manukau title over there, that's your, that's your, I'm leaving that one with you, um, uh, with, with that title in, in uh, Edinburgh. It, it, okay. it doesn't come under Bundy's bloodline, it doesn't come under Kingy's blood. Kingy's got the, the the Queen Victoria Trust, all that all that funding there, all, all that. Uh, so he, he he his name goes under there. But yours goes back to that side of 
the original title to these lands and all the other native lands in the world. They all came under this blueprint. All right? Okay, then. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Thanks for the money. I'll keep you in mind. All right. Yeah, that's money. He's the main person for the Moriori title and the Manukau Moriori title because his name is the Parapara Mohini. Those are old native names for the record. In Britain, you're watching this over there, Theresa May. <coughs> I'm going to write to you. I already started writing you an email that will get to you in 10 Downing Street just straight away. Uh, today, hopefully, um, and that was my uh, right-hand man with uh, the Manukau titles uh, to the um, 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 Manukau company in Edinburgh, 16, what is it, 16, um, where is it, in Edinburgh, the Manukau Company was registered 16 Northumberland Street, Edinburgh. That's where the company was set up <coughs> with the <coughs> uh, titles here to New Zealand. Uh, native titles and the birth certificates and those instruments put together on the stock market with uh, King William IV. So I'm um, glad I spoke to him. Uh, I just wanted to speak in front of everybody in the world and uh, the chiefs up north of our intentions, what we what we are intending to do with Cook Street to seize it, and uh, because of the corruption and fraud and threat on our land, now that we are officially commercial landowners of this country, of the whole country, I'm saying that we are more paramount chiefs. But I've chosen these four as specifically being involved with me every step of the way. Okay, I don't want them dancing in it and running off. That's not going to happen because we're keeping together. And I have all my faith in Hirawini Kraka, Bandi Waitai, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini and Kingi Togo. I have full faith in those four people and in senior status above me. Uh, I can talk until I reach their status but I'm not in a hurry to get there. I just have to feed them the information that they give back to me and I pass on back to the ones underneath me, younger. That's now the <coughs> traditional way of doing um, um, whakapapa titles to land <coughs> in the native court, magistrate court. So Manahi, um, uh, watch this video, it's on record here and I'll go and see um, Joe Hersra, I'll just spring the spies on him and turn up late on Friday afternoon and uh, as usual before that's what I do I just walk up the street here down where he was in his office and pull up late in the afternoon when he's finished work we can sit down and have a long conversation without um, having appointments and <coughs> springing surprises so I think he knows um, this is not an overnight um, Plan. This was long, long overdue. I've been with him and Sue Nagora way back, uh, right before I went uh, overseas to England <coughs> and never got there. He had said to me, it's safe to go. <coughs> well, it wasn't safe. I got him as far as Malaysia and that was the end of that. But he did say to me then, it looks all right to go to claim the 16 million. Right? because he's got all the papers and he says you go so that's why I went and uh, anyway we'll just pick up back again because he's a lawyer barrister that I can rely on he's in my family at the East Coast with Sue Nakora he's in the Ikarangi area and um, Whakawhitira area and also in the Marangaro area on our land blocks so that makes sense not to uh, put a foot wrong with us between each other, to trust each other this time around, Kingi. Um, we have to trust ourselves in our own instincts 
and you say hurry up. Okay, I'm hurrying. Can you see me hurrying? As fast as our little legs can go. Um, this time we'll, we'll have a, sh a slow running pace to the finish line. Uh, but Manahi, I think our time has come and we will uh, construct this um, with uh, uh, more authority now that we've gone through um, things together for the very first time. Um, this uh, is official that we're doing things right and it's quite fitting that um, Theresa May um, is um, about to be re-elected as the Prime Minister of Britain, UK, on the 8th of um, June 2017 as historic and a milestone for us on brand new terms and I want to congratulate her now before that day. Uh, I have every faith in her voice. Uh, that's all I'm going on, the voice and the looks and the sounds. Uh, to me, uh, she's uh, going to fit the bill with us as being um, confident. I've had a look at her um, CV and it looks pretty good to me. She's been in education and also as a Home Secretary and a few other bits and pieces that I'm taking note of. So I know she can handle the um, uh, civil matters and also um, Shadow Spokesman, uh, Secretary of Education, State of Transport and Local Government Regions, see, Secretary of the Environment. I think these are the things I'm concerned with, uh, with the Tidal Energy Projects. And uh, First Lord, Prime Minister, First Lord of the Treasury, Minister of the Civil Service. Uh, there you go, right? Treasury. Treasury, hit it on the button, right? I'm telling you, she's the right person that I can see and uh, may kick off the elections, snap elections um, <clears throat> for Brexit. So Brexit will be a big leap for mankind. As far as we're concerned, and I'm looking at the politics there. Thanks to uh, uh, 38 degrees, uh, giving me a little bit of a plug there with my name in the lead up to the elections. But I can't, um, I can't vote because I'm not there, as, as as being British citizen. On our documents, we are British citizens here. Um, but uh, however, I'm not there, I'm here. If I was there earlier, I wanted to go there earlier, but I have to wait till the Chiefs are ready to go, rather than go by myself. Um, then we'll have more behind us. So, um, as far as Cook Street's concerned, that's Plan B. Plan A is Sue Nakora, um, being able to um, uh, put a loan in front of us uh, uh, for a million to fund our visit to uh, Britain. And I had a 4.2 million budget to go there just to do this job on a big scale with this flag right through the world, 250 countries straight off. All the plans are set, the economy set, the hydrogen set, the um, government set, the dual government. Soon Akora can have her government, I must say that, because she's um, uh, a premier or, or prime minister of a Maori government, so she can do that. That's her prerogative, um, and somebody's got to govern this place properly, and so the one in Wellington is not that good. But we got a federal state government running right now in Cornwall Park in Auckland. That's our designated place that Mohi Manukau wanted on his land, and so he'll get his wish. But we're going to Cook Street first to put up the office buildings there, and that's um, that's uh, been earmarked for three billion. To go up. Uh, depends on the contract I can make with the Chinese. They don't need water, they don't need concrete, it'll all come shipped out and put up like Lego. We're not going to muck around, we'll get the space for housing there and shops and everything underground straight down to sea level. That's the plan that I have sitting right here uh, that I've been going over for years. So that's our, our first port of call is to um, seize Cook Street seize all that property, seize uh, the, the, the businesses of um, 
uh, Simon Brad Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, you watching this video, I've warned you many, many times. Right back to 2012, back to 2008, Jamie Peters and um, um, they are Doug Rickard Bell. You're, you're, you're in the gun as well. You're going to lose all of your properties, both of you, and everything in between. Right? And those 43 people on Cook Street that stopped me from going about my private business with the British Navy and military. Okay? And the Prime Minister of Britain, once they get a handle of this, they want that cut out of it too. That's up to us to make a deal, make a deal on how much they should get. We got nothing from them for this agreement, so that's our call to make on what they're going to get out of 970 million trillion trillion pound now. Okay? Uh, allocated 20 billion to the Navy and military in Britain to be debited against the debtors owed against John Key and his government here and his Panama Papers. Fraud, a lot of thugs. And also Bill English um, and whoever he's making deals with in the TPPA, all that and America and all his allies that are under the Queen Elizabeth fake coronation queen. Okay, you're going to get the bill and we're going to the World Court, which is our court our legal court to put our flag up right inside that court as King William III, King William IV flag and King Ernest Augustus flag, sovereign authority, 183 years of sovereignty from those kings. Okay, that's our unbroken sovereignty with this private contract flag. <coughs> so, uh, thank you, um, money. I'll just uh, put this up online and uh, I'll just wait for a call from um, Bundy just to reassure him we are on track. I made a, a, a video a little earlier annoyed with Hini uh, Fare Harawira for calling all the stuff I've emailed to everyone in that list of emails and she called it propaganda. That's really annoying. That's really coming from a Maori. What the hell is Maori all about, you see? They're so lost. And I I, 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 I tend to pet Hiriwini Kraka, or Selwyn Kraka on the back, when he stood up and he says, oh, a bunch of monkeys running. You don't do that in the parliament, in, in that marae. You're not supposed to bring your homework in there and start making things. You're supposed to have the, all of that when you come in, in this fucker meeting room. A set of instructions I went there with. And they just thumb their nose. That's how stupid Hinefara is. And everyone following it. And Tuhuru Nuku and all the rest of them. Maori Party and Mana Party. The whole bloody lot are stupid because here's what you're supposed to do for the Whakaminia. They went through a lot of trouble to put this together. They went through heaps of trouble. And this is sitting in Westminster. All this stuff is sitting over there waiting for someone to do something with it. See? No ears, no nothing, just follow the sheep into the slaughterhouse here and they love it. Those people in Parliament love it. They just stir the pot and these little useless sods go around on the marais and upset the real people. They waste time, waste money and they're running the show and give 10 minutes to put this across and the whole world saying, well hurry up, we, we, we know what it is. It's your people that don't know. You know why? They don't want to listen. Unfortunately for Mary, it's your own fault. I'm telling you to straight here in front of this video, it is your own fault for being ignorant and not learning what to do. Ignoring this and this because you've got something better that actually doesn't go anywhere because I've watched you performing and it's dismal and the woman screaming the head off and fighting right in front of everybody. Paulina, I know 
she's on the Manukau side of the titles, on her land. That's why she's holding on to it. And Ngaire, Te Ngaire, Matari Bay, over the hill. See? She knows what I do. She knows my Manukau stuff. Because she's like a Moriori. Right? You just need to look in her eyes. It's just enough to see. But it's the Samoa side in her that spins out because that's got a side to the history of the Pacific as well. So, she's got a right to say things, but it's frustrating because everyone has got their own way of doing things. And unfortunately, this is a commercial flag. It's not a flag of anything else because the British can cancel it. What's going to be worth them? It's just a symbol. And it's not doing its job. Unfortunately, it's not doing its job yet. Until now. Okay, so that's all. I better go up and check the doctor and my blood pressure and my pulse to see if the medication did any good. After t t today, I will stop using it because I'm just like a vegetable. I went up to the gym and you think I can stand on this treadmill and keep it up for 10 minutes? Two minutes I was had it. I managed to lift the weights, but on the other machines I couldn't do it. Even on the bike, I couldn't do it. Because the pills slowed the whole body process down to nothing. It's just useless. That's why I can't be bothered going up to the gym until I get off these pills today. I just want to satisfy the doctor in what my blood pressure is going to look like. I'll take my, a note of it and I'll tell you when I come back. I'm just going there now. Okay, see you later. Bye.